Hold up. Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Clash of Roby, and what I've got for you today guys is, we are playing some Clash Royale, and we've been trying out some decks guys, um, I, today, like I said guys, a lot of people have been suggesting some decks to me, either on Twitter, or, you know, via, you know, my kick group, um, and line too as well, um, this is what I, this is what I got so far guys, and this deck has actually been doing pretty good, and it's pretty cool, I got the golem in the shop actually, so that's pretty good for me, and we could actually upgrade a golem to level 5, also our prince to level 5, but I'm not going to do that right now because, you know, I like staying where I'm at. Also, the clan chess event has started, we're already at 3 out of 10 as you can see right there guys, but anyways guys, I just want to show everybody oh, the golem, I've, I'm 2-0 with this deck. And there's the deck I've been running all this time, guys. That deck's actually working pretty good. But anyways, we, we ran... We're going to go ahead and watch this one, guys. I'm going to turn down the volume right here for me so I can listen. Uh, we're going to watch this one. We were facing Vicious Heart here. This is in a classic challenge. And uh, he's coming at us with a Ice Golem Rocket deck. And we pretty much had this guy beat from the get-go. But I have kind of an awful start in hand here, guys. Uh, with this deck, I really don't want to show that I have Golem because uh, in the beginning because Elite Barbarians are so strong. I don't want to put my Golem on one side and be left with only like two Elixir to uh, defend. So, you know, I play it a little bit safe. So, I'm going to go on the opposite side with a Mini P.E.K.K.A. and a Knight or uh, Prince Push. That's going to be thwarted by that Bowler. Bowler's so OP, man. He is just a good card to defend all around. And he's actually going to come with a Furnace, I do believe, next on us. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, that's you guys see, the furnace does come. So we're going to do an archer split over here. I am kind of like, like, all right, let's think about this one for a minute, Roby. Okay, so he's got a lot of counters to our deck. He's also got that rocket, guys, which is quite annoying, guys, because if I have a big push thrown at him, he could just rocket it down, to be honest. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and drop off our, uh, our, uh, golem here. What didn't make sense to me is how he put his miner on my other tower, that really made zero sense to me, and then he put a bowler over there too, so I'm just going to play my mega minion on the bowler, and that's going to take that out, uh, no problem. He's also going to put some archers, so I think I did log the uh, the archers, no I did not. I'm going to go ahead and drop off a mini P.E.K.K.A over here, I think he rockets over here, I think he zaps... Uh, yeah, he's gonna rock it right here, I think. No, he's gonna put it down in Ice Golem. But anyways, that tower on the left-hand side is done. We got a Mini P.E.K.K.A. on that thing. Uh, he's got an Ice Golem coming at us. And, uh, I can start pushing the Three Crown over here. I'm actually gonna go for the opposite tower on the right-hand side. Uh, why my Golem is still smacking away at the main tower. But our Knight's gonna, our Prince is gonna get some decent damage. Taking that tower all the way down to 1233. He's got a kind of a decent push coming at us. We're gonna play off that and then play off our Mega Minion, I do believe. And uh, we've already destroyed that King's Tower a lot, guys. But anyways, we are set up. We are looking pretty. He's going to go ahead and place another Furnace down, I believe. He's going for... I don't... This guy was lanes... He was pushing both lanes really weird, guys. Um, I had no idea what he was He was thinking when he was pushing. But anyways, guys, uh, he's going to come in with the uh, Bowler. And now here he goes with the, <laughs> the Mega Minion on the other, other side. I, like I said, guys, that was... He made some weird, weird decision. He's gonna rocket down my tower. Now he's at elixir dis, or like he's at no elixir right now after that rocket. And we have a huge push. I'm gonna go ahead and fireball all of this. Boom, taking that out. Splickety splat. We're actually gonna distract with our fire spirits. Drop down our mini Pekka, and the uh, he dropped down his mega minion to hopefully take out my mega minion. But that was it was GG. We had that tower. And we are now pushing the three crown with four seconds left, and we actually did get the three crown, guys. Boom. Right there, taking out him. No problem. Well, this deck has been working pretty good. Vicious Heart was out for the dub. And, uh, yeah, uh, it was pretty good, guys. So let's go ahead and watch this one. This one's against a Hog Rider deck. Pretty much a spammy deck over here, guys. He's got the Goblin Barrel. He's got the, um, uh, a lot of things that can counter me with my other troops. But when that Golem comes out, guys, you can't expect it. Because the Golem is so not popular right now. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and sp lane split some archers over here. He's gonna actually have a good push, a start and push right here. He's gonna throw down a, a Goblin Barrel Hog Rider. I think he actually gets a ton of damage done on my tower. I'm gonna not log. I'm gonna wait on the log. I should have logged a lot earlier. And here we are. We're gonna go with another push. And we're going with the Fire Spirits. I think he does zap right here, which is smart. Yeah, it's smart. So, he's gonna thwart my push, man. That push... If my Fire Spirits were thrown in there without the Zap, that would have been a better push. We would have taken out the uh, Skeleton Army, the Skarmy, 
And uh, we have been in business and we've been sitting pretty. But anyways, he's coming at us pretty aggressive over guys, and he's throwing up the thumbs up. He's yo, he's he's already he's already confident that he's won, man. He's so confident. I'm like, dude, you need to check again, man, because we are we are in this to win this. All right, Clash Roby, don't play around. We can win this, and he's gonna actually throw off a freeze right here. Not expecting the freeze, guys. I'm a little like, man, that did not just happen. Anyways, we now have the login rotation too as well so i do think we actually get to the tower uh we're gonna go ahead and drop off the um the uh the log right there get one smack boom and actually get to the tower i think he does zap right there yeah and our mega minion does reach the tower and he's gonna i think he does throw us the crying face right here because we took that tower <laughs> back down the mega minion so op guys you get him on the tower he gets uh yeah he's a little mad now look at that he's like oh wait wait a minute we're we're, we're still gonna so I'm gonna actually go off the left tower. I'm gonna let him have my left tower, and I know I, I have that that tower is within fireball range. So I'm gonna show him I have golem here when we cl we're closing in on the double elixir mark. Uh, he could go ahead and place off that uh, goblin barrel. I'm gonna drop my archers just to be safe over here. I think he actually froze here too as well. I'm I'm, I'm not too sure. Anyways, we're gonna drop our our mega minion. Our Pekka, I do a mini Pekka, I do believe, and we are looking. We're gonna look pretty, pretty over here, guys. He's gonna go ahead and place down his Skarmy right there. We're gonna pre-log right there. Boom, taking everything out right there. And I don't think we fireball right here, which we're we we should have we should have fireballed those archers really big time. Anyways, we're gonna get that tower down so significantly low. Uh, I think he's gonna actually have a good push right here. I think I did actually end up fireball. No, we uh he did get some good damage right there with the goblin barrel. But he did freeze our golem, which he's going to stay in the back longer, which allows me to bring up a bigger push. And I think I have to go ahead and fireball the archers this time. And I don't know why he dropped off the Skarmy right there. Uh, that was kind of a wasted Skarmy. <laughs> Big time wasted Skarmy. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and drop off the fire spirits. Fire spirits plus golem on the tower. That's tower right there. We're going to pick up the dub. Boom. Golem for the win. That was epic. That was epic. Now, I really want to play with this deck anymore because I really didn't use the Prince at all too much in that deck. Like, it, I, I used him maybe a couple times. But the reason why I want to use him is because he got that charge effect. But I was thinking maybe throw in the Knight for the Prince just to help because um, he's, a, he's a better of Elixir. Let's, let's try that, guys. We're going to throw in the Knight right there. Like I said, I didn't really use the Prince too often. But anyways, let's continue this classic challenge. Do one attack. See if we cannot show you guys that this deck is still OP. Uh, anyway, we got the knight. Ooh, we got a pretty good start in hand right here. Not a bad start in hand. I'm gonna go ahead and play off my my knight here in the back. I would expect him. Yep, here comes a hog rider, which he's gonna throw down some arrows. Which that was uh. So we have a choice here. We can go ahead and he. I would say he's gonna defend the mini Pekka more so than he would defend my prince over here. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and log all. I'm gonna go ahead and log all that, and he's coming in. Boom, 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 boom. To the tower. To the tower. Let's go. To the tower. Okay. Mega Minion. Let's go ahead and just fire. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss. I missed. No, I missed. Okay, now we're at a elix elixir def deficit. So let's go ahead and place the mini P.E.K.K.A. on the, uh, the, that, oh, wow. I'm not saying that wasn't good. Oh, our mini P.E.K.K.A. made it to the tower. Oh my gosh, our mini P.E.K.K.A. made it to the tower. That was pretty epic, guys. So let's go ahead and drop off our Prince here and then place off our Archers. Boom. Our Knight. Knight, not Prince. He's got a Prince, though. So that's not good for us. That's no bueno for us. You guys, we have nice that Knight tar or tank pretty good. We are facing a guy with level 5 Wizard and level 6 Musketeer. If I lose this, guys, I am literally terrible at this game. We got one shot right there from the Archers. That was pretty good, guys. I feel like he has some type of card because he made it six. He's at five wins right now in this grand challenge. He's he's doing something good in his life. Let's go ahead and play off our Mega Minion here. I want to see what he's, he's going to do. I really do. Let's go ahead. Let's just show him we have uh, we have Golem. We have Golem, guys. We have Golem. I think he's he's shitting his he's shitting his britches right now. He is shitting his britches right now. Let's go ahead and play off the Fireball. Boom. Taking out that, taking out the, oh yeah, that's tower, guys, that's tower, plus that, boom, golem on the tower, and besides that, I'm not too worried about that right there, I'm gonna go ahead and play off the fire spirits, that's gonna take out the musketeer, play off the mini P.E.K.K.A., play off the archers, boom, that was, that tower went by so fast, guys, 
that was pretty epic. That was... He's got Elite Barbarian, so we have to be somewhat careful. Like I said, guys, I don't know if we play defensive here, or we just go for the three crown. Let's let's do it, guys. Let's, let's go for the other lane. Uh, he's going to come at us with that. Let's go ahead and play this and then log everything right there. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, looking good, looking pretty, and our knight's gonna stay alive. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna just drop some fire spirits and take out that guy right there. Oh yeah, little song right there for you guys. I like to sing sometimes. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Boom, and then we should just fireball right here. That's gonna take everything out right there. Whatever he's got right there. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. And we aren't going to get to that last tower. He's going to get a mad. Toto is a little upset right there with us. Let's just give him a good game. Good game. GG. GG, man. <laughs> like I said, guys, the golem is so OP right now. I don't I don't know, guys. I don't know if I just came up with a good deck, a meta deck. I don't really give a shit, to be honest, if I did or not. I haven't tried ladder with this at all. Uh, I do have a, all my cards are up to par for ladder gameplay. And then I could actually upgrade my uh, golem to level 5. But anyways, guys. Let me know if this deck works out for you guys. Try it in the comment section below. We actually have a lot of the cards. You can, as you see, there's no legendaries in this deck besides the log. And you guys know what can replace the log is the zap. You can have the log for the zap, that pushback effect. Or, if you have the bowler, the bowler works as just as well as the log. And he stays alive, and he can do tower damage, and he can attack more troops. I'm just saying, guys, throwing that out there. This is a 3.6 elixir deck. I would say this is a golem cycle deck. Uh, pretty easily guys a low elixir cost, but anyways guys that was the first deck we ever tried out that was new on this channel And it was worked out pretty good guys. I love golem decks Actually, I got a little famous on my my golem deck. You can talk to a lot of my clan mates And they know me for my golem princess deck that I used to run big time It was like golem princess minion horde mini pekka musketeer or something like that And it was a OP deck man. It got me to a legendary arena. It got me you know like 12 wins a couple times at uh, Grand Challenge. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Pretty good. I might try it out again here in the near future just to see if I uh, if it's still good, you know, with the new meta. But anyways, guys, let me know if this deck works out for you. And you guys see, we just countered Elite Barbarians like it was nothing in that gameplay. Like, those guys didn't do anything. Like, we don't have Elite Barbarians. The only meta card we have in this deck is Fireball and Mega Minion. But Fireball's in every deck. Like, that's just a tower damage deck. Archers... Like, we have all the counters. Archers for Graveyard, Knight for Knight and Fire Spirits for the, uh, the, um, for the Elite Barbarians, uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. for a Hog Rider, you know, uh, that's, that's positive elixir trades right there, and then the Log is just a good all-around pushback, uh, distraction thing. But let me know if you guys like this deck. Comment down below if it works for you, and like that, guys. Like the video if you are new to this channel. Subscribe. We are closing in on 3,000 subscribers, guys. We're like 200-something away now. Thank you, guys, everybody that subscribes, subscribes to the channel. It means a lot, guys. And with that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.